The bunnies are back. Over winter, rabbits were obvious by their absence around Crow's Farm and in other places around the UK, but in the last few weeks, they've emerged once more. Where have they been? Who knows? Well, King Ferret, Simon Whitehead might, but they're making their presence felt now as healthy young crops are being grazed within an inch of their lives. And Crow needs to get a move on. Three weeks ago, this was four inches long out here. From right the way round, green, it's like a grass field. Well, it's wheat out here as it goes, winter wheat, but it's, it was lush, it was a good, good crop of wheat. And then in the last fortnight, the rabbits have just moved in. I don't know where they come from, we've been going out. And when we've been going out, we've been just getting tens, eights, tens, dozen, or a push a dozen. I've been complaining that we haven't got rabbits around because it's, it's, it's a good way of earning a bit of money to pay for cartridges and bullets. It just hasn't been worth going out to shoot half a dozen rabbits. You think, well, you're shooting all your breeding stock that you want a few about. What about the rabbits you're actually seeing? Are they all youngsters? No, they're not. That's, that's it. 99% of the rabbits you see are, are all old stuff. It's even up, up the top of the hill. We've got wheat up there. Some of that up there is about a foot tall. And they're just starting to really come into the corner of that. They're just starting to get into it. So I just don't understand why they haven't been out on the wheat. Needs must. And although Andy loves efficient rabbiting, we're going to have to work around the limitations of shooting from a truck window. This isn't ideal. I just want to get out and shoot a few rabbits tonight. We've got a, a night sight here we're trying out. As you know, I always go out in a buggy, like I say, we sold the old buggy. So we're just waiting for delivery on the new one. It's been dry for the last two and a half weeks. I just thought we'd pop out just for a bit of fun tonight and see what rabbits are about. It's just starting to get dark now, so we're just going to have a, a wander down and have a look on that field. We just bought some new ground just down the road, so we're going to have a look out there. That's stubble, so hopefully we'll pick a few rabbits up out there. They, they might sit out on that a bit. There's a bit there to hold them. This evening, we've given him a night sight eagle to stick on his scope on his 178MR. It should easily illuminate the rabbits in effective range of this round and this rifle. Illuminate and eliminate. Yeah, quite a lot, that. Yeah, get the hang of that. Two shots, two rabbits, and we'll wipe with that. You think they would have moved with the light? Well, when we come around the corner and put the light on, they, those are a bit jumpy, so... I shot one, and I was expecting the other one to have run off, but I was looking to the right, expecting it to run right, but he was still sitting there eating grass. Yeah, decent rabbits. We start on some young crops and verges. Crow doesn't miss, and it could be a useful few hours after all. Crow is keen to head over to some new ground the farm has just bought. It stubbles and they tend to hold rabbits. It's a new bit of ground we just bought. It's on stubble. Um, they tend to sit a bit better on stubble. But what you've got to realise, I'm, where I'm shooting, I'm shooting freehand. I'm holding the rifle, I've got nothing to lean on because the rabbit's right here to the right and I don't want to keep moving. So it, it ain't actually easy for me. Crow is building a bag. It's incredibly deceptive. We're at the 30 mark in no time. He feels he's picking off pairs thanks to the night sight rather than shooting one and the other bolting. I've got two here together. That's one of them. And the other one's sitting probably, I don't know, was sitting about two foot to the left of the one I just shot. And all he did was just sat up and, uh, and looked at his mate. Which was the worst thing he could ever have done. But like I said up there, if you had the buggy, you'd just have it there and just go plop, and you could just keep moving on to him. And uh, I've, I've got it where I wanted it this time, so it was a lot easier, but the other shots haven't been easy. But there were two rabbits. But With the buggy, I've got it all built out, I've got a rest for my arm, I've got all the way along the front and I'm driving. If I've got two rabbits there, I'll get straight on and go flop, flop. If I've got one to the right, I'll just go forward another couple of inches, go hard right-handed and I'll go bosh, I can take that as well. And that's why I always do the driving. It's always better if the driver does, I do the shooting and the driving, because then I know where I want that buggy, because if someone else is driving, nine times out of ten, they ain't going to put it where you want it. So at least if, if I want to go another couple of inches, I can go another couple of inches and uh, that's why I always have someone else lamping and um, I do always do the shooting and driving. 
In the last field, Crow picks up some fox eyes. He fishes out some polystyrene from the glove box and squeaks away. It's not shifting, and Andy certainly wouldn't use the frangible 17HMR bullet to shoot a fox in cover. It's just nice being down here. We've seen what we got, what it was about. We've still got another 30 acres. We'll probably do that quickly before we go and see if we can plop off a few more rabbits. Well, there's more than that. It's 30 acres there and about another 20 down the bottom here. So we'll bomb around those quick, see what we can pick up. And at least we know what we're doing next weekend. Well, you are, David. <laughs> at the final count, Crow has more than 50 rabbits for his efforts. They'll all be heading to the I'll game dealer. Very little is wasted. Even the unborn kits have a value. If you're wondering why I'm leaving you the young rabbits in, it's because it all gets minced up and it all goes into like make a, a pate or puree, really for the uh, puree mince for the uh, for cats. Um, the, the game dealer that I sell all my, my rabbits to, that's that's what he does with them. So he'll be thinking I'm selling the rabbits somewhere else because I haven't been down there for so long. But it'd be nice to get down and there's a few. 57, eh? With so much crop damage, Crow will be out in his new Polaris before you can say, Bugs Buggy.